welcome to the CE Tool Den. And on today's video, we're going to test and review and talk about the Skill Auto Hammer. It's a 12 volt tool, and we're going to do some uh, tests and we're going to talk about it. So let's get to it. Okay, today we're going to test out and review what this Skill Auto Hammer does, is, and its functions. Um, first of all, let's start off with the Skill brand. Um, it's been a really, really excellent brand. For a lot of people they come out uh, with 12 volt and a 20 volt and they actually have some nice features with a lot of their lines um, some of their battery systems and it's pretty awesome but let's start off with this tool uh, model number is AH6552A-00 I bought this as a kit um, at Lowe's right now they're sold out at Lowe's but Amazon carries the brand and it is uh, $119. They're currently in stock at Amazon. So if you're a Prime member, you get uh, Prime shipping. Amazon is a certified retailer, as is Lowe's. But as of right now, I looked on online and it says Lowe's is currently out of stock. Um, as far as the kit's concerned, it comes with a belt clip, which I'm not really fond of putting belt clips on my tools unless I'm going to need to hang them off my belt. Otherwise, I just put the tool down anywhere um, and I don't use the clips very often not even on my drills uh, comes with a 2 amp uh, battery and it's got a battery cover but what makes these bat some of these batteries not all of them but some of them special is first of all it's all folded up is they have a USB port so you can charge your phone or other device I really like that about uh, what they've done with the uh, batteries it's just the, some of the 20 volts have it too. Uh, I'm lucky that this one has it. This one, it's really tiny form factor. It also comes with the uh, power jump charger, uh, which is awesome. So say if you're drilling um, with your uh, skill drill, whether it be 20 volt or 12 volt, their claim is that say you empty the battery. In about five minutes, you can get a 25% charge on the battery uh, with this. But that's only the first five minutes. After that, it's slow going. Um, I don't know how long it would take for the rest of the battery. And it also depends on the ampage. This is a 2 amp hour battery. So it is what it is. Here we go. Let's So let's talk about the tool. Um, it has an LED light, which is really nice. Uh... Here's a trigger. This switch is a trigger lock, so you can't move it. It's got uh, three positions for the impacting hammer head. So this is this is your standard 90 degree, 40, uh, 45 degree, and straight. No, we'll say that to 90. And this is so it goes at three spots: one, two, and three. And the LED light goes with it. So that's a pretty nice feature. And the fact that it's got the lock is for safety. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Brushless, of course. 12 volt. Um, we're going to get started on the test. I already have a setup with some nails. And we're going to see what kinds of nails we can use on this. All right. Stand by. All right. I have this, uh, I believe, pressure treated wood 2x4. I have it clamped down to my... Uh, assembly work table and we're gonna see what we can do with these types of uh, tools now Craftsman came out with the tool like this with their next system it was also 12 volt um, I never bought it I was jealous my dad had it and I never he would never give it to me because he loved his uh, next uh, 12 volt tools um, they also I believe Haikoki aka Metabo HPT has one but I don't know if there's one that's sold in the states uh they're probably I know they're sold overseas so under the Haikoki name um I wonder if there's another I know there's another brand that sells this type but uh, as far as popularity I believe right now the skill is the most popular one of this style of auto hammer and I know you have like different kinds of like pneumatic and battery operated. I mean, I do have the 
12 volt Milwaukee. But if you look at the size, it's just, this thing's monstrous. The Milwaukee. It, it really is big. It is a huge, huge, huge tool. It works, works very good, but size wise, you're not gonna get better than the skill when it comes to compactness. So we're gonna try it out. Um, I have some various nails over uh -oh. here and we're gonna see how it fits, how it works. So um, first off, we're gonna see, these are like framing nails. I have a, a few couple of framing nails. Here's another smaller type of uh, framing nail, smaller heads. Let's just test fit the, the size of the heads. This is, this does have a magnetic. Section over here, it's magnetic, All right? And here is a uh, roofing nail. And it also fits. So you can definitely use it for roofing nails, especially if you're in a, um, not a, not the best of areas where you need compactness and you're, you have an obstruction and this will do it. We also have a finish nail and we'll see how that works. Um, I mean, it, you know, it fits, but this is a nail that I probably wouldn't use with this. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it just depends on the what you're using it for, what project you're using it for. If you need to get a finished nailer in there and you can't fit a hammer. I mean, we can use this, but this is a really small head. I, I'm, I'm guessing this is more for like framing. So let's get the battery on and get the party started. There's the light. And here's a framing nail. Let's get this show on the road. There you go, it sunk it in. Real nice light. Real nice light. That did a that did a great job. It is very loud, so make sure you have eye and ear protection. I just had to put some ear protection on because extremely loud. Um, let's try it again. I like I like having that the LED. All right, let's start it again. Sunk it nice. Works really well. Now let's try this smaller nail with a smaller head. Oop, I bent that nail pretty good, but it is what it is. Uh, there's another framing nail. Perfect. Now we're gonna try this uh, fifth, this uh, finish nailer, finish nail, and see how that works. Ooh, not a problem. So this is this tool will be really good for uh, trim work. Just make sure you don't push it into the wood if you're doing trim because it will mar up your trim. Uh, I would if if you're doing trim work with this, I would go almost all the way, but not all the way because I know you have to push this against the material to get it to sink down deep enough. So. If you, if you need to finish it off with a regular hammer, you can. Now let's try this. Let's put a couple of uh, nails from roofing nails. We're gonna try roofing nails. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Roofing nails are nice and short, so you can get a really good grip on them. Look at that. Sunk it right nice. All right, let's try it again. That one sunk nice too. This stuff is really good for framing. So if you have a, 
a nail that you need to get into in between joists, this is your tool. The, the compactedness of this tool is great. Um, let's do it. Let's sink this roofing nail at 45 degrees. Let's see how it works. Let's put it right here. Kind of an awkward angle. There it is. Sunk it in. All right, let's sink this this framing nail. Now, what it's straight. Let's see how it does. Pretty smooth. I love the how smooth. I mean, you get vibration, but for the for the most part, this this tool is very very smooth for what it is. Um, it does have vibration. You're not going to get around that because this thing's supposed to vibrate. You see it, uh, and it's going to give you pneumatic style. You know, same thing with the pneumatic. You're going to have a lot of vibration, but I got to say this tool for what it is, it is very smooth. It also has, like I said, this lock switch. So now you can't pull the trigger. So for safety sake, but this is very smooth. I love that, that LED. So it shines on your surface. It's, it's got a good light. It doesn't have to be special, super, super bright, uh, because you're just doing it for a little quick. You saw how fast those nails went in. So yeah. This is a very nice tool. Very good. It does what it says. I messed up. That's user error for that nail. But overall, this is a good tool, especially for those tight to reach areas. If you like this review, like, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I wish you all a good night and I'll see you next time for another review.